Hello, hi, my name is Joel Dominguez. And hi, I am Maria Palmieri, and we are from Joel Salsa and My Salsa Online. So, we're going to talk about five tips that we feel are going to help you get started in salsa dancing or if you just recently started salsa dancing. Okay, let's start with tip number one. Tip number one, I feel like this is a really good tip. It's don't think. Don't think about going. You've always wanted to take a class. Try to rewire your brain every time you try to talk yourself out of it. Just go. Just say, I need to go. I want to go. I want to commit. So, that is the number one tip. Do not think, just go. Just do it. Okay, the tip number two. So the tip number two will be scheduling your classes. Pretty much if you already know that you're going to commit with something or to any class, make sure that you go ahead and start scheduling, put it on your calendar, put it everywhere, and then you start putting your head that, okay, I have scheduled this class and I reserve this space to make sure that I take that class that I want to start all the time, okay? So that will be the number two. Start using your, your calendars and put them there. Yes, and also schools have their own online system that you can schedule classes on the school even better to help you get started. Okay, so let's move on to tip number three. This one is while you're in the classroom, focus on yourself. So, so many times we see our students looking around the room, oh, either somebody knows less or somebody knows more, and they feel either intimidated or maybe they even feel like overconfident, okay? But the point is, focus on yourself. Look at your mirror, remind yourself, look in the mirror, sorry, look in the mirror, remind yourself why you are here. Maybe you don't want to stand along the sidelines anymore. Maybe you want to do something different, something more energetic. Um, who knows, an exercise, but kind of remind yourself when you're looking in the mirror, focus on what the teacher is saying and focus on your own goals. Don't worry about what's going on in the room because everybody is there for their own reasons, okay? And also actually don't concentrate on things that happen outside of the room. And this is one of the reasons why I pulled my phone and I started doing this. Because for example, in salsa, sometimes we get into rotation. Sometimes not always the way we are completely even. Maybe one or two people are out of the couples. Even if we rotate, they have sometimes to wait or to, to hold. Pay attention to what the instructor said. Instead, try to pull your phone and try to start texting to see who else is around that is not even there. Put <laughs> yes. that time for yourself. Make sure that if you are going to that class, you already pay your money, you already Take the time to get there, utilize that time, and take advantage of that time. That time is for you, so make sure that you get the best of it. Yes, okay? especially this day and age, leave the phones in your bag or leave it at home even better. Okay, so now we are going to jump into the point number four, and this will be bring a friend. So, but this is not any friend. <laughs> you cannot convince your friends to dance salsa, even if they dance other type of, of rhythms, other type of music, other type of other things. So like, yes, but I've been doing yoga. Yes, but salsa is kind of the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It's a completely different thing. And if they are not into it, they will just, uh, I don't want to say that, but they're going to kind of drag you down, right? Because they are not interested. They, they don't show any kind of emotion or any kind of interested in learning. So if you really like salsa and then you have to find a person, try to think about it. It's like just find like three of the friends that they've been telling you, oh my God, these people, they look good when they dance salsa. So try to remember all these people that talk about what you want to learn to make sure that whenever you bring them, you guys support each other so you get more committed, right? So find that person that will help you to go for it, okay? And make sure that you push each other. So that's the goal of bringing a friend. Yes, maybe someone who exercises already and they want to find a new exercise, or like Joelle said, they've always wanted to salsa dance like yourself, okay? Bring somebody who has the same motivation as you. That will be super helpful. Yeah, and also maybe somebody that actually they're already going out. They maybe they are not taking classes, but they're going out, they like the rhythm, they like the style, they like the salsa dancing, they like the community. They like the ambience, so they just never take classes. So guess what? It's like, hey, just you know, you always out. You you like to dance, but you never take a class. So let's go together. Let's 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 put it in practice and let's get better. Cool. Yes. So, so moving on to our last tip, which is tip number five. This is give yourself some accountability. Yes. So of course we always feel the need to do something when we take on the accountability. And my suggestion is 
When you start class, there's always room for practice, right? So maybe you tell somebody in the class, whether it be the friend that you took or somebody, you, you will make friends, you will make a lot of friends in the salsa community and maybe get a little group together and book a room to sit practice. Like, okay, next Thursday we're going to practice at five o'clock, practice what we learned in class, right? One, that gives you accountability because you booked the room. Two, you just told maybe two, three, four, five um, people in the class. So it pushes you to practice. Yes, and it gives you some accountability. And besides the fact you just paid for your classes, that should already be accountability, but it does push you to do to have a little bit more responsibility. Yeah, I guess the extra practice that you're gonna do outside of the regular class, that will be that extra that is only on you. So as instructors, we cannot push you more outside of the class if we are not with you, right? So Sometimes we don't, we, we cannot go to every single party, but you have a lot of classmates, like Maria said, just ask them. I mean, don't feel afraid. They're already taking the class. They have the same goals as you. They want to learn. They want to get better. So ask them, you know, it's sometimes you, we need that person that actually go and ask the rest of the people. Yes. They use waiting for that little call to action to, okay, I mean, okay, let's do it because somebody take that initiative maybe that's you so maybe you need the person you you will be the person to organize the group of two three four people that they go together they rent the space they go and practice for one hour for, uh, or something like that and then after that maybe you book it before an event that after you practice then you go together to practice a little more in a club and an event or something like that so another thing is for example if you are with a group and okay now let's let's Post it on Facebook. Hey guys, I'm gonna practice a little bit more. So you kind of push yourself like, okay, I'm already put it on, on my social media. So I have to push myself to make sure that I'm disciplined and I go because I'm already tell to my friends and tell to people that I'm gonna be practicing, right? So try yeah. to push that a little bit. Yes, more. so accountability for sure, okay? So we know how hard it is to get started. We know once you're started how hard it is to stay committed. It's like anything, anything you're learning new, anything you set a goal for. So we really hope this helped and if it did, please let us know. We love feedback, we have social media pages or just let us know inside the class that all these tips have helped you. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. So please leave your comments. We would like to hear from you. Maybe you have another tip that we didn't mention on this video. Maybe you have any suggestion, anything that you want to mention in this video or about this video, how you will push yourself to start your classes or get better in classes or pay more attention, etc. We want to hear them on the comments below. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like to hear more from us and you don't want to miss any of the tips, any of the videos that we make make sure that you click the subscribe button and then when you click the subscribe button you have to also click the bell so you receive a notification every single time that we upload a new video okay so thank you so much for watching one more time this is joel dominguez maria palmeri and we'll see you in the next tip video take care see you soon